Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we would be learning on adding interactive images on a web page using HTML and CSS. As you can see, I have a page open that says choose your assets with some different kinds of categories of assets. So this basically is an assets page and on clicking on any of these buttons, it would take us to the category which we have selected. However, you can learn adding the buttons from the previous parts or click the link being shared on the top. On bringing the cursor on any of these assets, let's say the vehicles, the buttons would start to glow and on clicking the button, it would take us to the vehicles page. As you can see, we have these images of vehicles which a user can select or buy and on bringing the cursor over any of the image, the image would kind of zoom and glow as you can see. So in today's video, we would be making something very similar to this. So first of all, we need to make an HTML file and a CSS folder and in that CSS folder, we need to make a file named as vehicles.css. So this is where we're gonna write our code and let's start. So first we need to give the HTML and the body tag and within the HTML tag we need to give the title tag and the title which we are going to give is vehicles. After that we need to link our HTML file with the CSS file. I have already explained this in the previous parts so do watch them or click on the link that is being shared on the top. Then we will move to the CSS and in the CSS we have given uh, the background within the body tag and on saving and refreshing we would get this. Now we need to write the code to insert an image on the web page. But before writing the code we need to download the images and give them a name. As you can see that I have downloaded the images and have given them the names. Now in the HTML part of the code, within the body tag, we need to make a class for each image. Let's say we need to make the class for the car. For that we need to write div class equals give your class any name. Suppose we give it car. Close the parenthesis and in the next line within the class we need to write image source equals the name of the image that you've saved it with. We have saved our image as car.jpg. Let's set its align to center. Now we need to close the parentheses and close our div class. Now on saving and refreshing you could see that the image has appeared on the web page but whoa it's too big it has almost covered the entire page so we need to reduce its size and position it and give it some interactive fixing the size and positioning it at the right place we need to give the following properties car1 image would be a class which we have made and in that class we need to set the margin top to 200 pixels margin left to 400 pixels width should be 40 percent and the transition should be width 0.5 seconds is out the transition is basically the part when you hover and the movement of the image when you hover on it as you can see the picture has been aligned in the center and uh, the size of the picture has also been reduced. So now we need to add two more images similarly. For that we need to write the same code for the truck and the bus. As you can see, all three of the images have been appeared on the web page. Now we need to write the code so that whenever we will hover on any of these images, the image should either move or it should glow in order to make it interactive. 
Now in the CSS part of the code we need to write the code and set the properties for the hovering part. Let's say we want the car image to hover. For that we need to mention the car image colon hover and then inside the brackets we need to write box shadow. We need to give a box shadow of 2, 2 and 30 pixels and the color we've wrote white over here and then we need to give a width of at least 42 percent on saving it and refreshing it you you could see that on hovering the picture also makes a transition and it glows to white you could also change the color let's say we want it we want the glow to be purple for that we need to set this save it refresh it and on refreshing it you could see that the glow is purple similarly I've done it for the other images as well that's all for today hope you've liked the video if so then do give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends as well who are interested thank you